Hey what's up guys, Tech Time here and I am back again with a brand new video. So welcome back to the channel. I would like to thank everyone and anyone for watching my videos. And if you want to follow me somewhere else, I'll leave a Snapchat link right here, one in the description. As always, I will follow you back. But let's get on with the video. So today we're going to be comparing the Samsung Galaxy J7 Prime and the LG Stylo 3 Plus. So, and let's start by talking about the price. So the Galaxy J7 Prime costs $159, while the LG Stylo 3 Plus comes in at $179. So there's a $30 difference between the two. And so let's talk about specs. The Galaxy J7 Prime has a 5.5 inch 720p panel. It has a 1.6 gigahertz octa-core Exynos 7870 chip. The camera on here is a uh, the camera on here is an 8 megapixel sensor with a f1.9 aperture and the front facing camera is a 5 megapixel sensor with a f2.2 aperture and in terms of memory this phone comes in with uh, 16 gigabytes of standard storage expandable up to 256 gigabytes uh, via a micro SD card and it comes in with 2 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, the battery on here is a really big story. It's a it's a large 3300 milliamp hour battery. I'll cover that um, so I'll cover that a bit more as the video goes on. So for so for the Stylo 3 Plus, the specs are the following. It has a 1080p IPS panel, a 1.4 gigahertz octa-core Qualcomm Snapdragon chip, a pretty fairly large 3080 milliamp hour battery, a 13 megapixel camera on the back with a fingerprint sensor and of course a LED uh, and of course a LED flash and on the front it has a 5 megapixel sensor also um, and on the front it has a 5 megapixel sensor so yeah um, spec war I mean in terms of uh, display quality so okay so let's break it down in terms of display quality and resolution and whatnot the again the Stylo 3 Plus has a 1080p panel while the Samsung Galaxy J7 Prime only has a 720p panel. In terms of quality, they're uh, they're pretty similar, but the um, what sets off the J7 Prime as a bit of an edge is that the J7 Prime gets way brighter than the LG Stylo 3 Plus. Let me show you what I mean. So the LG Stylo 3 uh, so the LG Stylo 3 Plus is at full brightness right now. And let me show you how the uh, Samsung Galaxy J7 Prime. So it's not even at full brightness and it's already brighter than the kind of a dim. So it's not at full brightness, but watch this. So if I set the J7 Prime at full brightness, um, it's definitely brighter. And that's a plus if, you're outside, if you use your phone a lot outside. But in terms of resolution, the LG Stylo 3 Plus wins it easily. It's a 1080p panel versus a 720p panel. And I wish that I wish that the J7 Prime had a 1080p panel. I talked about this before. Phones that are 5.5 inches and above should have a 1080p panel. 720p just doesn't cut it in terms of resolution. So I will give the display around to the uh, LG Stylo 3 Plus. Now, in terms of performance, like I said, the um, the Samsung Galaxy J J7 Prime has a 1.6 gigahertz octa-core processor versus the 1.4 gigahertz uh, octa-core processor on the Stylo 3 Plus. Okay, so let's do a quick speed test between these two. So let's open the phone up. 3, 2, 1. Uh, about the same. And the messaging app, 3, 2, 1. The Stylo 3 Plus wins by a bit just because the Samsung Galaxy J7 Prime has that little extra animation. But it's not really a big difference. Okay, so the camera. Three, two, one. Uh, J7 Prime by a bit. So performance is pretty similar. Some RAMs the J7 wins, some the LG Stylo 3 Plus. Now, in terms of gaming and gaming quality, they're they're about the same. So they both can handle light games no problem at all. But for really high GPU intensive apps, you will see not lag, but you will see a bit of frame drops. Um, overall, they're they're pretty good for gaming. Uh, don't get me wrong, but like I said, for high intensive apps uh, that require really a lot of GPU, uh, they they're pretty good. They they're decent. So I'll, I'll give the performance. Uh, so the performance to me is a tie. They're not that big of a difference. They're both they're both snappy at daily tasks and gaming, watching videos and whatnot. And design is a subjective thing. I'll tell you which one is my favorite. Uh, but let's walk through the design. 
Okay, so here's how they look like. And the J7 Prime has this gold finish. It also comes in uh, this, a silver finish and a black finish. In, in terms of design, like I said, it's a subjective thing. If uh, I like the black color of the J7 Prime, but I also like the feel and the pattern of the Stylo 3 Plus. Uh, the volume buttons on the Stylo 3 Plus are kind of mushy to me. I wish they were a bit more tactile. I really like both of them, but to me personally, I prefer the Stylo 3 Plus's design. But I do gotta give props for uh, Samsung for giving us a better buttons and basically better tactile feedback on the volume buttons. The buttons on the Stylo 3 Plus, the volume buttons, they're kind of mushy and I wish they were better. But yeah, so there's that in terms of design. In terms of camera and camera performance, uh, here's how you get to the camera on both phones. So you can double tap the uh, power, the home button to get to the camera on the Samsung Galaxy J7 Prime. And like I said, the J7 Prime has an 8 megapixel sensor on the back and a 5 on the front. And it takes, it takes actually pretty decent pictures. They're in good lighting conditions, it, this camera does really well. And it does give you that typical Samsung saturated colors. And since the aperture is large, it gives you kind of this de uh, nice depth of field when you're close to objects, which is pretty cool. Now, um, for the Stylo 3 Plus, it has the higher resolution camera. It has the 13 megapixel camera on the back, and it has the 5 megapixel on the front. They both have wide angle lenses. The front facing camera on the uh, J7 Prime to me looks better. I like the quality on the front facing camera of the J7 Prime. Now, not to say that the Stylo 3 Plus is worse by any means. They're, um, they're kind of the same, like I said, picture quality is about the same. And how the picture comes out, um, I personally prefer the J7 Prime. Now, if you rather have a higher resolution camera, since the Stylo 3 Plus has the 13 megapixel sensor, then go ahead, then, okay, that's your personal preference. But to me, um, the 8 megapixel sensor is good enough for me. It's high resolution enough. And uh, I think the J7 Prime takes better pictures in my eye. Now, again, it's up to you which one you prefer. I did a review, like I said, on the Style 3 Plus. You can check it out in the description below. So let's move on to features. And I'm gonna say it right out right now. Feature-wise, the Style 3 Plus wins easily. <laughs> and let me tell you why. So it is called the Style 3 Plus for a reason. It has the stylo, it has the stylus, so you can do a lot of things. You can do the pop-up memo capture plus, GIF capture, pop-up lens, and you can add additional features. Um, so there are, there are kind of endless possibilities to what you can do with the stylus. Now me personally, I don't care for the stylus. I'm not really a stylus person, but I mean, if I needed it, it's there. So that's pretty cool. And the the Stylo 3 Plus also has the fingerprint sensor, it also has the uh, double tap to wake, double tap to sleep. A lot of cool features about the Stylo 3 Plus that are embedded into the software. Now, as of the Galaxy J7 Prime, the only feature that I know of is that double tap to launch the camera. And it's pretty fast responsive, but I wish they would have added uh, additional features to make this phone stand out a bit more. And it does not have a fingerprint sensor. And one problem that I do have about this phone, and this is kind of nitpicking, it might be just me. The back and the home button, uh, the back and the multitasking button do not light up, which is kind of weird. I mean, I don't know why Samsung decided to do that. If you're in the dark and you're trying to find the back and the multitasking button, you might have a hard time. So let's talk about battery life, and battery life is important on both of these phones. So the J7 Prime has the bigger 3300 milliamp hour battery. And since it only covers, uh, since it only has a 720p display, the battery on here is incredible. It will last you through a whole day of heavy use. Uh, that's how good the battery life is. So the battery on the Style 3 Plus is not bad by any means. It's a 3080 mAh battery, but it's not as good as the J7 Prime. Because the Style 3 Plus has to push, uh, has to push a 1080p panel, and it's kind of, it's a bit of a larger phone. So battery life kind of suffers. It does last all day in moderate use, but for heavy use, uh, you might want you might want to consider bringing in a charger. So here's the cool part: the Style 3 Plus actually has uh, Quick Charge 2.0 already equipped. So if you run out of juice on the Style 3 Plus, you can quickly grab your uh, Quick Charger, which comes in the box already standard. 
and you can quickly charge the phone way faster than the J7 Prime. Since the J7 Prime does have the bigger battery, uh, it also charges uh, way slower than the Stalo 3 Plus. So it's it's a bit of a toss up. So it's up to you which one would you have. Uh, me personally, I would pick the Stalo 3 Plus just because while the battery may not last all day like the J7 Prime, the quick charge feature is really cool and I can get it juiced up pretty fast. So okay, let's test out the uh, let's test out the speaker quality. See how the speaker performs. Uh Picture I showed you before. This was taken on an iPhone 7 Plus. All right. So let's switch to the Stylo 3 Plus. See, that's why I wish that the Stylo 3 Plus was just a bit brighter. But anyway, three, two, one. Picture I showed you before. This was taken on an iPhone 7 Plus. All right, so let's hear them side by side. Uh, they do one. Okay, so let me give you my judgment. They both, the J7 and the Style 3 Plus, they both get loud. Um, they do, they both get distorted when you put your finger on the speaker. But, okay, so let's wrap it up. I want to thank you all so much for watching this video. I appreciate everyone for supporting this channel. Um, and, yeah, thank you all so much for watching.